Hello dear friends, I'm making this video to wish you a happy new year. Thank you for being here. Thank you for following my work. I also wanted to explain why I didn't post anything on my Facebook page since almost four months. This is because my Facebook page was hacked since about mid-August 2023 and I just got back my access some days ago. I had to negotiate with Meta to restore my access, although it is quite easy to see my ownership of this page since I post so many personal but also of course professional projects. So I'm making this video to tell you that I'm happy to announce that I got back my page and that I will be posting again in the coming weeks and coming months. I'm very happy to be back but also to warn you about potential hackers. It can happen to anybody. Really this is uh, horrible. When my page was hacked I lost quite a lot of money because the hacker made some paid ads which were obviously unauthorized but now after all the verification process it is finally solved and it has been really stressful but Meta has refunded the unauthorized ads so please be careful with your personal Facebook accounts and professional pages here on Facebook and Meta it can happen on other social networks of course so this is how it happened to me maybe it can be helpful for other people if it happens to them and if they see this video maybe they will have some hopes that it can get solved if they contact Facebook Facebook and if they explain the situation like I did it took months but finally it is solved I received an email invitation by a company called Fresh and Fit they organize live podcasts they wanted to invite me to participate in this podcast with my Facebook page so I thought this would be a good opportunity and this is how I got fooled they requested that I activate some settings in my business suite in Meta which unfortunately I did and then suddenly the hacking happened. This is important to note that I never shared my password. I never gave any access to my Meta business suite or to my Facebook page. So I still until now don't understand how this even happened. I think this might be like some kind of security breach inside Meta business suite. These are the emails that were associated with the hacker. I will also write them in the description of this video. If you know someone who was victim by the same hacker, please report this to the police. I really hope they get arrested and punished for making troubles to people like they did to me. So the conclusion of this is that you have to be very careful. It can happen to anybody. Look, I have a master in journalism. I'm quite a geek and interested by technology. I stay up to date with the tech news. So be very careful. Always activate double authentication, change your passwords to keep all your accounts safe. And I wish you all the best. Bye bye.